Hello, you absolute legends. All the way back in 1999, at the ripe old age of 13, I started speedrunning GoldenEye 007 on the Nintendo 64. I have seen the community and the world records evolve for almost a quarter of a century. Every single time a new world record has been achieved, I would watch the video. In my lifetime, I've seen thousands upon thousands of different GoldenEye speedruns from hundreds of different people. And a speedrun that I've seen just recently is almost certainly the most beautiful and the most perfect speedrun I've ever seen. What's interesting about this speedrun is that it's only 19 seconds long, one of the shortest world records in the game. But each of these 19 seconds contain pure mastery of the game, the likes of which I've never seen. The level is Bunker 1, and the difficulty is Secret Agent. There are three objectives in total, but two of them are so easy and inconsequential that you can complete them with a mere click of a button. It's the third objective, Disrupt All Surveillance Equipment, that makes this speedrun special. There are four surveillance cameras scattered around the level, and each one needs to be destroyed. Taking out these cameras is where 99% of the skill of the speedrun lies. And finally, 26 years after the game's release, I feel like I can finally say that I've seen someone destroy all four cameras perfectly. In 2018, Rayan Isran, easily the most gifted player to ever pick up an N64 controller in my opinion, beat Bunker 1 Secret Agent in 20 seconds. This was seen as one of the best records in the game. Basically, it was considered as good as it will ever get. It was already given the title of a Tier 1 world record by the community, which means the most difficult of the most difficult records to achieve. But then, Rayan did the unthinkable, and beat Bunker 1's secret agent in 19 seconds, with what is probably the greatest GoldenEye speedrun ever. It's a full two seconds faster than anyone else has ever done. And in order to appreciate just how difficult this is, we are going to put it into perspective by going back in time and seeing how the level has progressed over the last two and a half decades. I really hope you enjoy. Now, Legends, we all know that cereal is the greatest thing ever invented, but if you're health conscious like me, you'll know it's basically impossible to find a cereal that isn't jam-packed full of sugar. Thankfully, that's where today's sponsor Magic Spoon comes to save us, because Magic Spoon is a high-protein, zero-sugar alternative that won't ruin your diet. I can fit Magic Spoon easily into my lifestyle because of its macronutrient profile. One serving contains around 13 grams of protein, 4 grams of net carbs, and no sugar. And it actually tastes good, which is shocking, given that most high-protein alternatives taste terrible. Personally, my favorite flavor is fruity, with frosted coming in at a close second. And I eat it before bed, or as a snack between meals to help satisfy my cravings. This really helps me stick to my diet, because I know at the very least, I'll be rewarded with a tasty snack at the end of the day. So for those looking to improve their body composition, or just want a cereal with more natural ingredients, I can't recommend Magic Spoon enough. And Magic Spoon is so confident, they offer a 100% money-back guarantee if you're not happy. So try Magic Spoon today by clicking the link in the description, or scanning the QR code on screen. Plus, if you use the promo code LEGEND, you'll get $5 off your order. Since the beginning of time, the cameras have always been done in the same order. The first is just behind the starting position. The second is around a corner to the left. On our way to the third camera, we must take out this guard to get a key, which opens the glass doors just before the finish of the level. The third camera is down a hallway on the right. Then we pause to get out the camera, which we use to snap a picture of the large screen to complete that objective. On a table at the back of the room is the golden eye key, which we need to collect. On the way to the glass doors leading to the end, we take out the fourth camera, which is located in an adjacent room on the far wall. We then open the glass doors with the key we got from the guard we killed earlier, and pause. Here we need to get out the key analyzer, which we then use to copy the GoldenEye key before throwing it away. Both the copying and the throwing away of the original key need to be done to complete the objective. Then we open the final door and exit. The first two cameras are by far the easiest, as they are both close and facing us directly. Cameras generally take several bullets to destroy, but if you hit it right in the lens, it will explode with one bullet. So the direction it's facing is actually quite important. And the cameras move from left to right, so if you reach them at different speeds, the lens will be in a different location. The third camera is a lot trickier, because it's on a wall on the left and is facing 90 degrees to the right. So the angle makes the apparent surface area of the lens very small. And if the camera is facing to the left, the lens becomes invisible. 
so we have to have the camera facing to the right and shoot the small sliver of the lens that's visible. The fourth camera is tricky because it's far away, so again, it's a small target. And we have to shoot it while moving perpendicular to it, which is also tricky. The first run we will take a look at hails all the way back from the year 2000, when Isis Smith achieved a time of 28 seconds. Two things that stand out in this run is that he fires many bullets at each camera and reloads each time. Plus, he goes down the hallway a bit to get the third camera, making it easier to hit the lens. Isa also missed the gun switch warp at the end, so really, this run probably should have been a run of 27 seconds. Less than a year later in August of 2001, the technique had already vastly improved, and Randy Bukema set a new record with a time of 25 seconds. The difference here is night and day. You can see Randy is now only using one bullet for the first and second cameras, meaning he doesn't have to reload after each one though he does still reload after taking out the guard for the keycard, which still loses time as he has to wait until the gun is ready again before taking out the third camera. In 2002, I lowered the record to 24 seconds. Here, I introduced a more optimal technique of killing the keycard guard. Previously, players had stopped strafing to take him out with multiple shots, but I optimized things by using a single bullet to the head while strafing past. This is obviously more difficult as it's a small target and requires good timing, but it became the norm after I achieved this record. I do make some really bizarre decisions though. For example, at the start of the level, the first camera is 90 degrees to the right, but for some reason, I turned 270 degrees to the left. I've never seen anyone else do that, and for good reason, as it makes no sense. I can't imagine doing this at the start of every single attempt. Definitely very strange. Also for the final camera, I inherited the bad technique of taking my finger off the forward button and using only left strafe, which is what everyone did before that. But this is much slower than using full strafe. In April of 2004, Jim Barrett got a 23, and he did keep full strafe for the final camera. He used a couple of shots for each of the first cameras, but it was still a bit faster due to his greater sense of urgency. Now, between the years of 2006 and 2007, I credit three players for ushering in what I would consider to be the modern era of GoldenEye movement. These are Brian Bossart, David Clemens, and Rayan Isran. To give you an example of what I'm talking about, in 2006, I achieved new records on Archive Secret and Double O Agent, with a time of 55 seconds. When I got this, it was considered a really good world record, but by 2007, it was basically junk. And at the end of 2007, all three players got a 54, which wouldn't be achieved again by any other players for more than two years. And if it weren't for several new strategies, the record would still be 54 seconds today. The movement was basically already as good as you could get. An even more extreme example is the stage train on Agent. Again in 2006, I set a new record of 106, which again was considered really good. But just a year later, Rayan Isran was 5 seconds quicker with a 101. And there were no new strategies found. He was just faster because he had better movement and better technique. That's it. So in June of 2007, David Clemens gets 22 seconds on Bunker 1's secret agent. Rayan Isran ties it several days later, and Brian Bossart gets it six months after that. Again, the main improvement was the speed of the cameras. Previously, we would stop, aim, make sure we were aimed correctly, and then shoot. Now, there was way less hesitation. You just shoot when the camera becomes visible and hope that you are aiming in the right spot. And for the first camera, there was no longer any stopping at all. It was now one continuous movement to the second camera. When Brian Bossart became the third person to get 22 seconds, he also implemented an optimization, which is a quick pause at the start of the level. You'll notice that after opening the first door, his ammo briefly disappears and reappears. This is because he paused and then unpaused before the watch came out. In GoldenEye, with each pause you do, each subsequent pause is a couple of tenths faster, and quick pauses still affect this mechanic even if you don't pause fully. So doing a quick pause while waiting for the door to open ends up saving around half a second over the course of the next two pauses. Interestingly, the community knew about quick pauses since at least 2003, when Brian Bossart first used it on Aztec. But it took a few years to figure out how to use the mechanic on Bunker 1. 
two months after Brian's run, David Clemens would go back and use the quick pause to achieve a time of 21 seconds. This run was essentially as good as his run of 22 seconds, with the quick pause thrown in and a better warp at the end of the level. Two months later, Rayan Is run would tie David's record. And to illustrate how good 21 was, no one would get it again for over six years before Luke's glass became the third person to get it in 2014. 21 was already insanely good. I can't emphasize enough how hard the movement is to destroy the cameras this quickly. Looks in GoldenEye are deceiving, because if this were running at 60 frames per second and you were using a keyboard and mouse, then it would pretty much be a joke to hit these targets. But GoldenEye barely runs at 20 frames per second if you're lucky. And while some people may disagree, the controls are really hard, much harder than modern shooters. This requires some intense precision, even though it may not look like it. This is why it took over 10 years just to have cameras that look decent. But while 21 was difficult for a human to achieve, it was still far from optimal. You can see in David's 21, he takes two shots at the third camera. And these aren't quick shots, they were rather slow. So there was a large amount of time between when the camera became visible and when he paused. Rayan's run was even more illustrative, with a relatively slow second camera, three shots for the third camera, and even gets boosted backwards before the end by a guard. So it's obvious that a run of 20 seconds is possible, but in GoldenEye, possible doesn't mean probable, or even achievable. Again, we are dealing with crappy frame rates and terrible controls, so everything is 20 times harder than it looks, and it would take 10 years for Rayan Isran to finally lower the record to 20 seconds. And you can immediately see how much better the cameras are. Each of the first three done very quickly with one bullet. This run of 20 seconds was celebrated throughout the community as one of the greatest records ever. A tier one record. People were almost positive the level was maxed and weren't even sure if there was anyone else capable of tying Rayan's 20. It took 21 years from the game's release before we finally saw a new world record where someone only used three bullets for the first first three cameras. Yes, even the most recent 21 second run from Dan Parker in 2017 still used multiple bullets to take out the third camera. It's something that seems so simple, and it all happens within the first five seconds of the level. Three cameras, three bullets. That's obviously the fastest way to do it. And yet, no one could. This fact alone should tell you how hard it is to play this game. So with Ace's maxed 20 second run, this should be the end of the story, right? Well, not exactly. Because in 2018, the runner Joris created a new strategy that was used on the Agent difficulty. This was to pause after opening the final door instead of pausing at the glass door and switching to the 2.4 control style. 2.4 allows you to take actions during the opening and end cinemas, and even during the fade out when exiting a level. By using 2.4, you can copy and throw the key during the fade out. And this ends up being faster because the final door will be opening while you're doing the necessary pause. Previously, you'd have to open the door and then just run in place until it opens enough for you to warp through. Joris did test the strategy on Secret Agent, but felt as though it didn't save much time, so nothing really came of it. However, four years later in March of 2022, the player Ryan White would implement the strategy. Ryan's run was a time of 22 seconds, which obviously wasn't world record pace, but it showed the strategy was at least viable. What we didn't know is that it also inspired Rayan Isran to re-examine the level. And despite already having a quote-unquote maxed run, that was considered one of the best records ever, he decided to play the level again. And in May of 2022, Rayan did something unbelievable. And you may ask, if Rayan did this in May of 2022, why am I only hearing about it now? Well, because he kept it a secret, and it was only released a year later in May of 2023. He was hoarding multiple world records, as is common in GoldenEye. But in any case, regardless of when it was achieved, it's the most beautiful GoldenEye speed run I've ever seen. So without further ado, on the 2nd of May 2022, Rayan Isran achieved this run.
words cannot adequately convey how amazing this record is. There are multiple things here that Rayan does that no one else has ever done before. For example, for the second camera, he does the entire thing in full strafe which means he never lets go of forward. Everyone else who has ever speedrun this level will release forward and briefly come to a stop as they take this camera out. But Rayan uses the crate to pivot while he turns and takes out the camera while turning, never stopping and keeping all of his speed. He also does the third camera in full strafe without stopping. This is crazy because you have to turn to shoot the camera, and if you don't turn back in time, you'll run into the hallway and get stuck on the corner. You essentially have to do this frame perfectly to avoid getting stuck, which you can see that Ace barely does. Everyone else has already stopped twice by this point, but Ace has not let go of forward a single time, which means he has reached top speed and is now running faster. After picking up the golden eye key, he again uses a single shot to take out the fourth camera. There are a total of five shots that are absolutely necessary, and Ace does a total of five shots with 100% accuracy. The cameras were perfect. And while I will say that GoldenEye has seen relatively perfect runs in the past, these have always been done on very simple levels, that don't require a lot of turns or complex movement. But the beginning of Bunker 1 Secret Agent is one of the most complex series of movements you can do in a GoldenEye speedrun, and Ace did it perfectly. I've honestly never seen anything this good in this game. Rayan is now 2 seconds ahead of 2nd place on a 20 second level, which is just stupid. There really isn't much more I can say, my mind is just blown. Thank you so much for watching you legends, I hope you are having a fantastic day, and I will see you in the next video.